Welcome back to my channel, Miss Peggy here, all the way from North Texas, from my house to your house. So today is Saturday, May the 14th. I usually do this video on Sunday, but I got a complication, so we're going to do it on Saturday, because Miss Peggy's having brain surgery on Monday. I know that sounds terrible, doesn't it? It does to me, too. But anyway, <coughs> I got two days left. Monday morning, straight up at 7 o'clock, I leave this house. I have to be there at 7.30. I'm going to have this brain aneurysm taken care of. Um, it's amazing to me that the new technology has come so forward to where they don't have to cut a hole in your skull and remove it to get in there. Um, last time they went right in my wrist. They went in my artery right here and they went up with a wire, went over my heart, went up and up this neck vein and up into my brain and looked at that aneurysm and they decided it was an emergency. It wasn't thin. It wasn't any uh, chance that it was going to burst right away. It was thick. The walls were all... Uh, level um, it was a good vein so they deemed it not an emergency so Monday is the day they're gonna go in there and <clears throat> they're gonna pack that aneurysm with like a wire titanium mesh and it, the titanium mesh is got some kind of solution in it to encourage clotting in the aneurysm and then once they put that uh, wire basket in there, then they're going to put a stent in the vein, and the basket will be here, and then they're going to put a stent in the vein to hold that wire mesh in there. So um, that's how they're going to take care of it, and I am very nervous. They, it's, it's a, they consider it not an invas non-invasive surgery. How they figure brain surgery is non-invasive, I don't know. But I guess because they go up your vein. But, um, yeah, that's going to be Tuesday. So, I've been working getting the penny list today. And i got a lot of visuals for you. And I've got the name of the product with the visual and the barcode. So, I didn't type the whole thing out. I just gave you the name and the barcode and a picture of it. And then there is also an NCI penny list. Now, I did type that one out. And that one, I'm, I'm very excited about. I wish I was going to be able to go, but I can't. I am not going to be penny shopping on Tuesday. Um, because that's probably the day I'm coming home from the hospital. And um, unless I get the full go and get to feeling really good, I probably won't be going next week either. Because... Last time when they went up my arm to look at this aneurysm, I was kind of fatigued and tired for two or three days. And I don't know if it was because of the procedure or not. But this procedure, they're going to sedate me. Lightly sedate me and put me to sleep for it. So I'm going to be a little joggy. But the good news is I am so thankful for this. The hospital called yesterday. And they have lightened the COVID rules and so Robert is going to get to go with me he gets to go all the way to the surgery with me he has to wait in a waiting room there by the surgery then when I come out into the recovery he will get to see me and he will be able to stay with me until I come home so um I'm just real tickled about that, and I just found that out yesterday, because up until yesterday, with the C going, nobody's allowed in the hospital except the patients, not a visitor, not nothing, except during visiting hours, so this change is going to be good, because last time he just dropped me off the front door and dropped me there, and um, this time he's going to get to go with me, so... Thank, thank y'all for all the prayers because those prayers are being answered. Um, God, um, God's good and God is with me. So I'm thankful for that. 
Y'all keep praying because I'm living on those prayers. <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank um, Darlene Odom. I still got your card here. And um, I got this Taco Casa money that you sent me, and I'm going to save it. And when I get out of the hospital, Rob is going to take me to Taco Casa, and we're going to get these. And that's going to be so special because that's going to be my get well meal. <laughs> so I'm thankful I got this, and we are going to get to use it on Tuesday when I get out of the hospital. So thank you, Darlene. My thoughts are with you. And I love you for that. So thank you, thank you. Try not to be too emotional, but you know, <laughs> there's nothing not emotional about going and having brain surgery. <laughs> so y'all be with me. So I want to tell you though, um, Tuesday, um, the surgeon called me and told me that five days before the surgery, they wanted me to stop taking this. I've been on warfarin for 13 years because of my AFib. I have AFib. My whole family had AFib. I've had AFib since I was 18 years old that I knew about. And um, my mother had AFib. Both my brothers had AFib. My sister had AFib. And my sister um, had her heart cauterized in a few places and her AFib went away. They, I wasn't a candidate for that, and they wouldn't let me do that because I was too far past where she was because I've had it longer than she did. But anyway, um, they put me on this. It's called Brilenta. Brilenta. And I want to tell you what. This is some serious medicine right here. Um, this, this is uh, neurosurgeon medicine, and... Um, I started taking this Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. I got up, I woke up, and I couldn't lay on my sides. Every time I laid on my side, I couldn't breathe. So I'd lay on my back, and then it just started getting worse, and I'd sit up, and then I'd lay down. Then I'd get shortness of breath, and then I'd go to the bathroom, and I'd be shortness of breath. I couldn't breathe. I was just gasping for air so bad uh to be honest with you i peed my pants a few times because i gasped for air so bad and i thought i was dying and uh that's just the hard truth about that and i've been through hell for two days but anyway um by six o'clock i woke robert up and i was just gasping for air and i told him it's like I can't breathe. I need you to call 911. I couldn't even get to the phone. So um, he, he jumped out of bed and he went and got the phone and he was half asleep. So I just took it from him and dialed the 911 and I explained to him that I couldn't breathe. And so they said they were sending an ambulance. So Robert and I got up and he helped me into the living room and I sat on the sofa waiting on him to get there. But after the MedStar got here, that's the Cowtown Ambulance Service, it's called MedStar here, and when the MedStar people got here, they checked my, um, they hooked me up to an EKG, they hooked me up to oxygen on my finger, they took my blood pressure, uh, they did everything, and they said my oxygen level was 98, it was fine, I wasn't losing oxygen with me, I, um, gasping for air. It was a medical from the medicine gasping, so it wasn't like a health issue gasping, so my body wasn't losing oxygen. So I didn't know that. I felt like I was losing oxygen. My face just turned, my body just turned beet red when I was gasping for air. But anyway, um, there's Charlie. Hey, Charlie. How my buddy doing? There, Charlie come to say hi to everybody. Yeah, well, let me move the pillow. Charlie wants me to move the pillow. There you go, buddy. You can lay right here. You can lay right here. He wants me to move because he likes to lay behind my head. <laughs> and he's really hard-headed. But Charlie sleeps with me all the time. He's right here with me at all. Every moment. But anyway... 
the MedStar people called the Dispatch Health. I've never heard of Dispatch Health before. But since I was on this medicine for my surgery, the Dispatch Health came and they checked me from top to bottom. I mean, I had a lot of people here. MedStar people was here. The Dispatch Health people was here. The fire department was here. And, and then the Dispatch Health, they checked me, put an EKG on me, checked everything. They said it was fine. And then they said that because I'm having the surgery, they wanted to do a video call to a surgeon. So I said, sure, I'll talk to him. So he got his phone and, and he called the doctor. And uh, of course, you got to wait, wait, wait for him to get to the phone. But a doctor finally got on the phone and I did a, a video call with the doctor. And he explained to me that this medication, no, this medication was very, very important for my brain surgery. It's it's in the replacement of the warfarin, and uh, without it, I can't have the surgery. So they just told me to struggle through it, do the best I can, continue taking the medicine, and um, don't lay down. They said to prop up, and they said sleep sitting up, uh, just don't lay down and you gas for air less when you're sitting up and that is true as long as I was sitting up I was fine so um, I got this <laughs> who remembers this penny this was a red dot penny and this is the first time I used it this pillow has been on in my guest room and laying on the bed in there just looking pretty so I had Robert to go get it so between this and I just slept sitting up it's like it's not fun sleeping up but I did sleep up Wednesday night now around four o'clock in the morning on Thursday morning I could tell that I was getting less uh, shortness of breath I wasn't being affected as much so um, Thursday night, I did sleep propped up, but somewhere during the night, I kind of sloop, sloop, and just kept scooting down till I basically was only on two pillows, and I wasn't having a lot of shortness of breath. Now, today being Saturday, I'm still dealing with some shortness of breath, but mostly it's when I get up and walk around. Um, if I get up to go to the bathroom, I have to set up wait a minute stand up wait a minute and then slowly walk to the bathroom sometimes that works and sometimes it don't I have gotten to the bathroom and so shortness of breath I had to turn around and come back and sit on the bed to gasp but the gasping only lasts for about 30 seconds and it feels like it lasts for a minute. But it is just medical medicine related, not physically health related. So, but the doctor called this morning and she said, well, she's glad that I'm adjusting to the medicine. I'm not having as much shortness of breath as I was. But anyway, that's been fun the last few weeks. But, um... But we do have a penny list. But before I get to the penny list, I, I got a package in the mail. It doesn't say who it's from. But let's open it. I got some scissors up here. I want y'all to open it with me. I don't know who it's from or what it is, but...
What is that? My pillow. Well, I sure didn't order that. I, don't, I know I didn't order that. <laughs> Pamela Brooks. You sent me a pillow, Pamela Brooks. My goodness. Well, let's just get into this. I've heard of these pillows. I've seen these pillows. I've never had one of these pillows, but this is a good time for Miss Peggy to have a pillow. I can't believe it. All the propping up and talking about. Oh, my goodness. Now, I guess it's got to fluff up a little bit, so you got to wait. So, I'm so excited about this. Okay, here's a catalog. Man, Pam, this is so cool. You know, I've seen these, but I can't afford a pillow like this. But thank you. Thank you, Pam. I mean, that's just like a, a, a Christmas present. I mean, really, it's like, I can't believe you sent this to me. I mean, my goodness. Wow. So I'm going to read all this and find out about it, and I know you got to let it fluff up, but uh, thank you, Pam. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Look. Get Pamela Brooks sent me a my pillow. How about that? Robert's over there. I told him, "Isn't that nice? Thank you, Pam. Wow. And that's gonna come in handy because I'm gonna be bedridden for a few more days until next week, and I'll probably be laying in the bed a few more days when I get home from the hospital because, like I said, that last procedure that I had when they went up my wrist just to look. Yeah, I was fatigued for a few days after that, and um, but I bounced back, so thank you, Pamela. That's so sweet. I just can't get over that. This whole whole video right here just making me tear up right and left. But anyway, um, we got the penny list. Now, we've got some NCI pennies. Now, there are some baskets. Now, these baskets are kind of like the baskets that pennied a few years ago, and I got some of them. They're rope baskets. They look like they're made with rope. The The ones I got a few years ago were white, and they had like a, a leather handle on them. Now, these, these are rope baskets, but they're white, and then one of them is pink. And these baskets stack inside of each other. There's like a large one, a medium one, and a small one. And they're they're about that big. And um, they're just rope baskets. You can tell because they're coiled around. So, you know, I wish I could find some. I'm not going to be able to go and look for these. But I wish I could because these rope baskets are really cool. And I think I've seen them in the store. But... There's also an artificial or orchid that's Easter that is at the NCI store, and it's in a um, in a vase. And there's a tulip, a pink tulip in a white vase, and uh, then they got a, a bunny egg that is pink, and it's in the home decor. And then there's a large bunny head. It's in the NCI area, and then they've got some bunny, bunny, um, fabric bunnies that are tall, and then they got some moss green bunnies, and they got a, a pink moss bunny, and then they got a, there's an Easter bending book that's six by six, then you got a die kit, you know, the Easter die kits. One of them is a dip and doodle, and the other one is a volcanic holiday, and those are both to color eggs with. 
and um, and then they've got an Easter wreath, and it's round, and it's got white flowers on them like tulips. I think they're tulips. And then you've got another Easter, Happy Easter floral decor pillow, and then you've got an Easter deco pillow. So there's two pillows. So the NCI store has some Easter stuff. So be sure and go into the NCI area because now all the rest of this stuff is just um, um, Easter plates, Easter napkins, uh, Easter ge uh, guest towels, and um, all of those are originally in the POG POG display. Now I've got a picture of the POG display with them in it. Then I've got separate pictures and the names with the barcodes of each individual uh, napkins, paper plates, uh, tablecloths, um, uh, what are those other things? Um, Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? That thing just cut me off again. But anyway, all the paper plates, the, there's several different kinds of plates. There's oval ones, there's round ones, there's napkins. Um, there is uh, towels, um, tablecloths, all of those things came in that POG box. So I'm going to give that to you with the barcodes, with all this other stuff. So y'all go find you some on Tuesday because um, we still don't have any candy Easter stuff that's pinning. But it is marked down, but it's not on this penny list. The only things on this penny list is going to be the um, Easter seasonal stuff. So we'll wait for the penny Easter stuff to penny next week. So... That's all I got. Y'all pray for me on Monday. I have to be at the hospital at 7 a.m. Surgery should be around 7.30, 7.45, maybe 8 o'clock. Y'all pray for me at that time. Robert will be there, and he will get to see me as soon as I get out. And the doctor yesterday said there might be a chance I can come home on Monday afternoon. So it just depends. They have to, like monitor me for six or eight hours to make sure I don't bleed through the vein where they go in and then they'll let me go home so if I come home Monday I'll let you know but I'm gonna get um I don't know I'm gonna get Cheryl or somebody that's on my pennies 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 I'll get somebody to um let y'all know that I'm okay um Robert doesn't I don't think have access to that but I will find somebody that does uh, I think my cousin Nancy, Robert's going to notify her, and then I'll get her to write something on the pennies, 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 so all of y'all can find out how Miss Peggy's doing. So, I love y'all. Adios from North Texas, and goodbye from Cowtown, and I will see you on Tuesday, not because I'm penny shopping, but when I get home from the hospital. So, this week's going to be a little different. So I love y'all. Talk to you later.